are Tom, and it's time to get healthy. Did you know that if you die before the age of 85 from anything other than a tragic accident, it's related to digestion? It's true. And here's why. Because we really aren't designed to eat cooked food. I know it's a controversial statement, but the fact is that when you cook even the beautiful piece of organic broccoli, um, you're cooking, that's my cat, they're cooking, uh, you're cooking the enzymes out of the food, you're denaturing it. And we need that help from the food, from the enzymes in the food in order to digest the food. So what happens is when you eat that cooked food and you, it doesn't have enzymes, it starts to rot in your gut. It starts to putrefy in there because it doesn't, it's, it needs to be broken down. And that's like a fire in your gut. It's an acidic fire. And so the body will use minerals to buffer that fire out so that it can utilize the minerals and the nutrition, for, I mean, the, the nutrition from the food. But if there is no mineral reserve, which most of us don't have, because we stress out too much, we take pharmaceuticals because we had a Western diet all our lives, because we weren't breastfed, because we don't have good gut ecology, because we eat too much cooked food, because we smoke pot, because we do all kinds of crazy stuff, drink booze, drink caffeine, and this uh, steals our mineral reserve. And so if you don't have a mineral reserve, what happens? The body goes into the bones to get the minerals. So it'll go into your wrists and give you carpal tunnel. It'll go into your lower back. It'll go into your neck. It'll go in and give you bone spurs in your feet. It'll give you uh, cataracts. Hey, Frodo! It's a zoo in here, I'm telling you. So it pulls these minerals, it, it, this uh, receding gums and cavities, and it'll buffer that acidity with those minerals that you need so much. And that leaves you in bone loss. So that, and, and bone loss is like I said, any kind of creaking, you know, muscle cramps, um, anything that is bone and structural related to the body comes from not having enough mineralization. So it's like they're suffocating, like your tendons and muscles and bones are, are, are starving and suffocating. And so this begins disease. Because when you're acidic, you are leaving yourself vulnerable to every pathogen, to every kind of break, every kind, anything that is going to harm you, you're leaving yourself vulnerable to it. And I'll do a whole video on pH because I know pH is very confusing to a lot of people. And I'm going to simplify it the way that it was taught to me so that you understand it really well. And that video is coming up. But in the meantime, what are you going to do about not digesting your food? Um, and I've of course, found my favorite products that I've been using for several years now. And the reason is because they work the best with my clients, with my family and friends, and with me. Uh, the first ones are uh, the Body Ecology's um, uh, digestive enzymes. This is a, called ASSIST, small intestine, or ASSIST SI. Awesome. We can get into more details about why that's um, small intestine specific. Uh, this is a full spectrum enzyme, and this has um, every enzyme to break down everything. Uh, sugars and fats and carbohydrates and um, proteins. And then she also makes this, which is the bomb. It's little packets, so you can put it in your pocket, in your purse, whatever, and take it to dinner with you and bang, it's done. What's in here as well is probiotics. And that is what I'm all about. If you haven't figured that out yet about me, um, I'm all about restoring gut ecology and the beneficial bacteria in your gut that make up 85% of your immune system. Yes? So, awesome. I'll have these on my website soon, but in the meantime, you can get them on bodyecology.com by clicking on the little link picture of Body Ecology on my website. Yes? So next, the probiotics from Premier Research Labs love these. They're a little pricey, but they are very effective. I like to do courses of these um, because they are just super duper uh, potent and they'll help recolonize your digestive tract and help build up your immune system. Um, we'll get to that one. This is a full spectrum enzyme. It's the Digest. Uh, fantastic product. And the Digest SP, my favorite, my big secret to a flat tummy. Yes, I said it, flat tummy. 
I used to think that the SP stood for special. It doesn't. It stands for serotopeptidase. That's an enzyme that is special because it eats inflammation. So if you've never been breastfed, if you have gluten intolerance or any kind of bloating or inflammation after you eat, food sensitivities, um, and in, even inflammation throughout the body, uh, digest, the, the SP serotopeptidase eats it. That's what it eats for dinner. It eats inflammation. We love you, serotopeptidase. So this is the bomb. I take the digest and the SP together, like I'll take two of each before I eat, especially if I'm eating pasta, if I'm being naughty and I'm having grains and stuff. Excellent. And then the hydrochloric acid is a video all its own. But let me just tell you this. If you could only afford one thing, one supplement in all of the land, I would say it should be the hydrochloric acid. It's, it's an acid that your stomach already makes. It helps you break down the food you eat so it can be digested. But it also helps to disinfect the food you eat so it keeps you safe from harmful bacteria. In, you know, these days you buy a bag of like organic arugula and people are getting like salmonella and crazy E. coli and things like this. So this kind of thing protects you from that. And if you have an abundance of HCL, no, it doesn't give you heartburn and no, it doesn't make you acidic. It goes into the lymph. It helps to, it's like the scrubbing bubbles of the body. If you get cut, it's meant to disinfect the wound from the inside out. And that's brilliant, but most people don't have adequate hydrochloric acid production, so they uh, don't have that luxury. So we love you. Um, so that's it. Those are the digestive enzymes and hydrochloric acid and probiotics. You must have these. They're crucial, crucial. Um, you know, the average transit time of food in the average American is like 72 hours. That means like when you eat a plate of Chinese food, it takes 72 hours for it to exit, the waste of that food. That is insanity. It's meant to be anywhere from 12 to 36 maximum hours. Can you imagine if you took a plate of Chinese food and dumped it into your trash bin outside and nobody picked it up for 72 hours? What would be growing in there? It would not be pretty. It would be pretty horrible. So, um, you know, we need to, to uh, bolster our digestion, upregulate our digestion, start getting rid of the food, the, the waste from the food we're eating, digesting it, absorbing the nutrition. This has to happen because folks, I know this isn't kitchen talk, but if you aren't pooping twice a day, you're constipated. It's true. So let's get on it. Send me some questions. I did get a question about uh, digestion, and they said, how can toe fungus be related to poor digestion? And that's, I'm so glad you sent that in because it is exactly related to digestion. When you are acidic, when that acidity is going on in your body, you you're, you're open yourself up to pathogens. And toe fungus is a fungus, and fungus is a pathogen. If you have a really normalized pH and you're digesting your food and you don't have these, these issues, the fungus doesn't want to be there. It's not happy there. It doesn't like oxygen. It doesn't like to have an environment that is healthy and thriving. So, digest your food, folks. Please like this video, share it, and Facebook me some questions. Okie doke.